what percentage of attorneys that you know do you think are confident in Florida gun law and how it's you know how what it means? It's, it has to be less than one percent because the way you yeah. you you characterize that question, probably out of all the attorneys who practice criminal law, you're probably still at maybe I would say two percent to three percent are probably proficient in, in gun law in Florida, especially with yeah. the change. I am so excited about the new change in the law. With no change in the law, there's no reason to teach it. And now that we have a change in the law, it gives reason for people to um, to dive into it and understand. We can correct all those old like three step rules and all those other falsities that uh, that we know exist. I was really amazed that my lack of knowledge as a police officer in gun law. It wasn't until I went to the police academy and you know I was teaching out there and I watched these. Uh, open carry advocates on on uh, YouTube. And I was like, holy sh these guys I'm teaching are gonna get in a shooting situation. And I, I, gotta, I gotta teach them what, what's going on. And so that caused me to dive into the law and I realized that nobody knows the freaking law. It's so insane, like the lack of people. But anyways. Uh, when you first said you're excited about the change in law, I thought you meant because it'd be more business for you. Cause it is, there's different ways to construe it. Um, there's the federal aspect I know you're gonna get into. Yeah. Florida. And you're right, law enforcement, they don't have a great grasp of it either. And I'm not, they have so much other areas that they have to cover as well that yeah. that's understandable. And, and the attorneys are, are the same and judges as well. I think that generally what you run into is possession by a convicted felon. And that's real easy. It's not really a challenge there. It's when you start talking about the nuances of a legal person carrying that's not really violating other laws. And now you're really in a technical side of it. Court cases aren't usually dropped, but when they are, it's often as a result of a technical defense. Meaning, the overall arrest may have been valid, but something went wrong. Check out this video to see how I was able to get a DUI case dropped by asking the judge to exclude the roadside sobriety tests from trial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel.